Hey, Miss Compost, you're back. Let's do those. Chair lays out House Bill 1423 and recognizes Representative Compost to explain the measure. Good afternoon, Chairman Moody and Vice Chair Cook and committee members. Thank you for the opportunity to lay out House Bill 1423 relating to the expiration of a protective order when the subject of the protective order is confined or imprisoned. The Texas Family Code currently includes a provision which extends the expiration date of a protect protective order if the respondent is incarcerated when the date occurs or if the order is set to expire in less than a year from the date the respondent is released from incarceration. This was enacted to account for victim safety as perpetrators of family violence may retaliate or continue abusive tactics to victims once released. However, when an extension on a protective order is requested, courts in Texas require modification hearings to do so. These hearings involve notice to, res to the respondent and the opportunity for them to appear in court with the victim to extend the protection. HB 1423 requires of note a notice to respondents on the order at the time it's issued that the order will extend if the respondent is incarcerated or on around the expiration date. This ensures the respondents receive this notice as it will be on the order they have in hand and victims have added measure of safety. This bill together with the current provision of expiration extension in these cases clearly directs data entry of the extended expiration date into the Texas Crime Information Center so that law enforcement and courts have the most updated information and can respond and enforce orders correctly to maintain victim law enforcement and community safety. I'm open for questions and I respectfully reserve the right to close. Thank you, Representative Members. We have questions at this time. No? And ain't, uh, is there anybody who wishes to testify on for or against House Bill 1423? The chair sees none. Recognize Representative Campos to close on the measure. Again, thank you. Asking victims who have already sought a protective order to request an extension under current statute can cause them to sacrifice the extended protection so that they can avoid serving the respondent, seeing them again in court and living their trauma. HB 1423 will keep victims safe. Thank you so much, you. and I ask for your vote. Thank you. I close. If there's no objection, House Bill 1423 will be left pending at this time. Is there objection to the chair? There's none. House Bill 1423 is left pending.